Guys, good afternoon. This is Bill with Competition Cars. So we're going to do the top operation driving video, and then we're going to measure the cold air all in one shot in one video. And if you notice, my showroom is kind of cleared out right now for the most part. We're getting ready to redo these floors again because it's wife driving me nuts. I can't keep it clean. So we're going to re-sand them and put some of that out flake so it'll eliminate some of the dirt and sand marks. But all right, getting back to this car at the top, super easy. You've got. You have a latch here, and you have a latch here. Now, something else that I learned, someone on the thread uh, uh, brought to my attention. This number etched in this window frame, or this top frame, 1041. This is the 41st car that was produced out of 100. So that's pretty interesting. So you release these, super easy. You really don't even have to get out of the car. It just folds back like, like such. And then it's got a boot that goes over top of it. And I will tell you, it was a pain in the you-know-what, getting that boot tight. It took two people to stretch it out. I suspect it hadn't been on the car in a while, so if you get the boot out on a hot day and leave it on, it should stretch, should be fine. So there's that, super easy. Down, boot goes over, it's perfect. And then back up, really easy, okay? Oops, let's step back. Oh, hang on, you gotta make sure these are in that little hole right there. Boom, and then... Make sure it's down and then boom very easy very well designed and engineered so let's go ahead and crank it my face chris let's do a little driving video got the factory match in the trunk they're literally like brand new got all the jackson racing stuff on it so let's get a ac measurement air is nice and cold it has been converted to r134 can you see the temperature from there too Corn works, wipers work. Great wiper blades, not screechy or scratching on the window. Headlights, rear defrost, which this doesn't have it because it's got the top, but this car would have had rear defrost. AM FM radio from the original one. What a terrible sounding radio. <laughs> I think we got. I think we got one speaker. So you may want to throw some speakers in it. I guess the back ones were probably removed when they did the top. But it is there and it does work. It's got a good sound and exhaust on it. Header. It's header, cam, intake. A little bit of a remap on the distributor. And then the exhaust. And then I've got a, uh, a new muffler that I ordered for it that should be in in a couple days. That's going to be included in the deal. That way you have a new muffler. dead 40 so it's good and cold as it has been converted to the r134 i mean it's light it's nimble it's quick clutch feels good no grinding of the gears shines when it's a nice summer day and the top is down. Once it gets up to operating temperature, we'll go ahead and uh, put it through its paces, go through the gears, do some wide open throttles so you guys can see that the car performs like it should. Haven't driven in a few days, so we want to get it nice and warm. Get the operating temperature up. Smooth, the tires are good. Look at that. Drive straight, no shaking. Got 
great job with this car because the structural rigidity, I mean, it doesn't feel, you know, like some even factory convertibles, they don't feel real solid. This feels very solid. Of course, you're starting with a Honda as your platform, so that's good. I can imagine they did some Testarossa convertibles too, I can, so I can imagine how those would feel, you know, being a Testarossa, being such a big car and having so much of the top cut off. This one here, they did a hell of a job, I think. It's coming up to operating temperature. We got the stoplight here, so let's slow down, and we'll just kind of go through the gears a little hard, not to abuse, as I normally say, but just to show you what the car has. So there's first gear. paint's beautiful we paint corrected it it's really nice got about six days left five six days you got plenty of time to try to figure out what you want to bid on it and uh and look at the condition i mean it's just like a brand new car inside now very minimal wear and tear it is a one owner i bought it from the son of the original owner it was passed on to him once dad passed away and um tons of documentation just a great little car really fun car so cold air sorted clean detailed paint corrected New muffler on the way. Bid all you can, guys. Enjoy it and have a good day.